Welcome back, everybody. Now that fall is officially here in Kentucky, how about cozying up with a warm bourbon cocktail? Uh -huh. You can do that and a whole lot more at this weekend's third annual Bourbonanza in downtown Frankfurt. It celebrates the spirit of the city and all of the great beverage spirits that are produced in the region. Food, music, drinks, and a live auction of some of the most prized bourbon around. It's all coming up this weekend, and we get the details. Our third annual Bourbonanza is truly an event that we hatched because we wanted to celebrate not only the, a lively spirit in downtown Frankfurt, but to give kudos to our spirits industry, of which we feel like we really are the cradle of bourbon country in Frankfurt. There's a street fair on St. Clair Street. The evening event, the soiree, so to speak, is at the Kentucky History Center. Uh, tickets are $65 a person. You get six tastes. We have about 10 distilleries that are going to be pouring. We're at Capital Cellars and we have our certified mixologist, Pilar, who's going to be showing us how to make a cocktail and a mocktail. She'll be doing demonstrations at our free street fair. Are we Absolutely. ready? Go. Yeah, let's do it. Let's make Thanks. some drinks. Pilar. By the way, that's how she says pillow. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so long as you call me. Yeah. Pillar. I'd like to make a traditional Manhattan. We're going to start with two ounces of bourbon okay. as well as a sweet vermouth. Okay. Now, the other thing that you add to this drink would be bitters. Now, you notice we don't shake Manhattan. We stir. We stir and we stir. Ooh. Beautiful pour. Ooh. When we talk about brown spirits, we use cherries. There she goes. friend. <laughs> she likes it. I oh guess. yeah. A highlight of the evening is uh, pretty lively. It's a live auction of rare bourbon and it's pretty impressive. The distilleries that are so generous have given lovely donations. Most recently we're excited that Buffalo Trace, our neighbor right here about a mile away, is giving the experience of a private barrel pick of Weller 107, a barrel. Whoever the highest bidder is, you get to take 15 of your friends to Buffalo Trace, private lunch, try five different barrels of Weller 107, and you get your barrel, they bottle it, they personalize it, and you get to do whatever you like with it. When you make a mocktail, it should be something that's very different, looks very good. Yeah, but a mocktail uh, is sort of like a strip club in a way, isn't it? I mean, you're getting me all excited for no reason. Well, but there's a lot of there's a lot of reasons why you'd want a mocktail. Let's say somebody Have in you your close no. life is uh, pregnant right now. Oh. They go to a That's party. That's a good point. They go to a party and they're Because we've having... got some news. Oh. This is frozen limeade. Ooh. Reconstituted shy about a cup or so, okay. which makes it that much more tart. We're also going to use coconut water, but we're going to make sure whatever we do to one, because it's always about balance in a cocktail what's blended and what is balanceable. Okay? Ooh. Very light. Oh my God. How does that taste? Now, doesn't it look like a cocktail? Mm -hmm. So yeah. you don't feel like you're left out from somebody who's holding that. All right. Yeah, not at all. Mm -hmm. That is so good. Oh my gosh, that is so good. I Cheers me. Going. Wait a minute. Wait, what? A little rye? <laughs> Either one? <laughs> oh, cheers. This is my uh, newbie mixologist mm -hmm. for tasting this new cocktail. <laughs> that ain't bad. <laughs> okay, but give it to me. You're gonna put more in there? <laughs> more is better, right? Mm -hmm. Whether you are going to bid or not, it is quite a spectacle to behold when you oh, yeah. see an auctioneer. Well, and, and what people pay for these bottles, many of which that are signed by the distillers. One chair, you might want to take off the stem because I don't think you want to take off, I don't think you want to work with the stem. Oh, no, we don't have any more chairs. Let's put it in there. Oh. <laughs> What? All right. that, it's, yeah. I don't have any professional training. Should you get in a good sweat by the time you're done with this? Is that how you know that you've you know, all you have to do is take a sniff. Oh, okay. To so. me, if you smell fruits and it smells good, yeah, we're you've muddled it good. good. Okay, excellent. Good. We've heard it said that Frankfurt is an undiscovered gem, and we're ready for you to discover us. Yeah. Yeah. People, 
G E M. G not G Y. Gem. Yeah. A gem. A sparkling gem. How did you pronounce that it's earlier? It's Burbanza from he, Winchester. He's, if you're from Winchester, it's we call it Burbanza. 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 Yes. Burbanza. Come, have fun, enjoy Frankfurt, stay the night, um, and help us out. The third annual Burbanza is this Saturday, October 20th in downtown Frankfurt from noon until 5. All ages are welcome. Yes, and then from 7 until 10 in the evening, they have their spirit soiree, which is 21 and over. For more information, visit Burbanza.com. All right, straight ahead, two UK professors are on a mission to hear from all UK students. Literally, they want to listen to them talk. We're going to explain why next here on Live with Lee and Haley. Stay with us.